All right, welcome back everybody to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm hanging out on the Coalition of Gamers Imperion server. I'm here on Akua, close to where we left off. We were in Akua orbit when we left off last episode, but I went ahead and landed, and uh, hopefully this will be. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to take a look around Akua, and as I was on my way down, I noticed, I well, I discovered, but I didn't actually notice somebody's base. So, I think we ought to head over there and uh, see whose base that is. Do they have their things set to attack me? It does not appear to. Whoa! So, uh, let's get on out here and, uh, see whose base this is. Our, uh, turrets should be able to protect us from drones and the like. And uh, their turrets might do the same. But this is a nice little base build right here. Solar panels. Don't know how you're supposed to get up there without using your jetpack, but maybe there's another entrance into it. But let's see. So whoever's base this is, they left it public which is, you know, nice. I'm gonna leave it public just because, you know, they did. Their plants, however, have died. Um, more than likely their plants died. Uh, I don't know why their plants would die. Dead plant large, dead plant small. But whoever's base this was, or is, uh, you got some dead plants in here. Uh, let's see, they got a uh, generator, a backup generator. They've got good solar power going, so that's good. Uh, they got lots of stuff in here. They've got lots of copper that they've uh, collected, so somebody's been doing some mining. Uh, they also got some iron and silicone. Looks like they were mining from this iron deposit and that promethium deposit. Well, they got a lot of promethium as well, so that's good for them. I don't know why they have both of these because you don't really need both a clone chamber and a med station. You can respawn in the med station just fine. Um, but, uh, they also don't seem to have a lot of, uh, oh, they put a lot of food in here. Um, I don't think that's a good idea, what they got in here. Oh, whoever's base this is, they're really disorganized. <laughs> but I like the architecture. The architecture is really good. The one thing that I would recommend, uh... Got everything. Now let's just go ahead and auto group everything. And. Let's see, where's a good place for a motion sensor? Right up there would be fine, I think. Actually, we should put it a little further back. Give me this back. Okay. Um. Oh, it just made it into parts because it's a public base. Duh. Well, let's throw those in there and make another. Okay. So you've got a lot of lights. More lights than are actually necessary. 
Uh, you can't put that there. Crap. Well, there are a lot more lights than are actually necessary here. Let's do this. Okay. So. Hmm. Because of the architecture, it's sort of difficult to find a good place to put it. Apart from right up there. I suppose I can put it up there. People aren't going to be spending a whole lot of time there. So, let's do this. Okay, now. Now it should go all the way across there. And to there. Now, what I'm going to do is let's use this to key the lights. You are going to have a low range and then the side two I think the side two should keep their ranges uh, but you don't need a large range Let's see you Your intensity was weird. You can lower your range. And you can lower your range. Whoa. Yeah, your range was way too big. Okay. And what I'm doing specifically is I'm just reducing the glare in the area. Okay. Now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and interior lights you. This way, whenever they come into their base, the lights will come on, and they should be able to see just fine with the fewer lights, and it'll have lower impact on performance of computer systems, and it'll use less electricity when they are away. No. So that's all of the ones in here. Alright, let us go ahead and make up two more. Because I think on either side they've got additional ones. Okay. Then out here. Uh, let's do this.
Oh, and let's go ahead and set this interactive just as far out and wide and tall as it can go. And then for this, I believe that's all we're going to need right there. Let's do one more like that. And that should activate when anyone is in this yard over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and set all of these. And if they don't like it, they can just remove the uh, sensor and turn all the lights back on. But I like trying to help people out. They got a lot of lights that are eating up frames when they don't need to be. Actually, let me do this. For those up there, let me make a couple more of those and one of those. I don't need one of those. But I do need another one of those. Okay. Am I going to need another one for back there? Probably not. I think... Yeah, the garden lights, most people leave on anyway. Okay. So for this, what I'm going to do is, since it looks like yeah, they might be using the, uh, this is south, they'll probably be using this as their main entrance. And then we can make it like that and label this towers. Okay. Now, I can go ahead and towers, 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 and towers, and then I should be able to do the same over here. It looks like they used a prefab SV. And then we can do this. And then over here, 
let's see, was that, I want to mirror that side over here, so that was, yeah, two up, like here, and it looks like they did a prefab HV too, which is alright, okay, Okay, so let's do this one first, since this one will be easier. Let's go ahead, auto group everything, yard B. And then set this. Yard B. Yard B. And then go ahead and And let's see if there's anything. Nope, that looks good enough over there. Let's just do that for this over here. Should be fine. Okay, and did I do the one back around here? You need to be... Oh, that's why. Uh, you need to be yard A. So yard A is set up. So when I come over here, these come on. Okay. That's yard C, and this will be yard B. Oh, this must be yard C then. Good enough like that. All right. Let's go ahead and tower lights you. Towers. Towers. Towers and towers. And I am going to do a yard D because there are some lights back there that need to be censored. It's yard C. And then. And you. All right. So now all the lights are on motion sensors except over here. And over here. Let's go ahead and set you guys to towers.
All right, and then for a motion sensor, let's go ahead and build one more motion sensor. Motion sensor, and you're gonna go right there. And you are going to be your D. All right. And that should be perfect. for this yard. Now what I'm going to do for this yard right now is just these two. Yard D and Yard D. But whoever's base this is now will have more light or more efficient light than they did before and it should save on frames and things like that so let me do one last thing before we leave oh you need plastic materials I should have some of those in the ship and if not I can just grab some corn and make some what else is it corn and dirt I think is what is required to make plastic materials now Do I have any plastics? No. Uh, let's go grab some corn then. I know there's got to be some around here somewhere. Look at that beautiful backyard they got. Well, I guess if I can't find any, I'll just have to uh, do without. I was going to leave a little nice note, but I... Uh... I don't see any corn anywhere around here. They don't have any growing in the garden because their garden is dead. Which is unfortunate because other than that, the base is really nice. I don't know why the plants are dead unless they tried to remodel while they were while they were uh, growing. But um, and they really don't need that many lights. So let's do this. Uh, what you there? Those lights. That should be all the lights that they need to grow all the plants that they have. So... Because, uh, for those of you who don't know, each grow light at a distance of two from the ground covers a nine uh, block square, a three by three. And so... Uh, these two are actually overlapping in the middle right here, but I, uh, other than that, in fact, I can make this a little bit more efficient for them. Uh, with two of those and grow lights. Huh, I need to learn grow lights. <laughs> Base grow light okay two grow lights all right now with these I can put this here and this there 
and these two grow lights will cover the entire garden. So now the garden is especially good. Uh, because their plants are dead, let's just go ahead. I'll leave the uh, those. I don't know what plants were here, but I do have some plants in my ship. Let's see, do you have any extra plants in here? No? Alright, I do have some plants in my ship that I am willing to let them use. Which, let's just go ahead and grab all these that I have. Because I don't know what all they had, but, you know, replacing their dead plants with living plants just seems like the right thing to do. Okay. Alright, I can put the drill away and those. Let's do this, okay. Aloe, wheat, tomato, this, hair thing, cave beans, corn, corn. And that is all that I have at the moment, but hopefully it will uh, be good because they've got no radiation, their temperatures are good. As long as the buildings aren't opened, it should be fine. And even on Akua, it should be fine even if the buildings uh, opened a bit because you can technically put a garden outside and uh, not have to worry. Which, speaking of, uh, nutrient solutions is what they need. Do they have a food processor? They do. Do they have nutrient solutions? They do not. But they do have pumpkin and durins in here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, plant the pumpkins and durins as the last in here because... I feel bad that their plants died. It wasn't my fault or anything, but um, now that they've got the temperatures proper, they should be good. Pretty sure that, yeah, right under here you should get a 25 and then, yeah. Alright, so everything in here looks good. Oh, and that alien honey is growing fast. So they should be good with uh, with uh, all their stuff now. So let's go ahead, put these back in there for them. Um, let's put this in here. And they really need a better refrigerator. Energy matrix, steel plate, capacitor, nanotubes. Um, how many energy matrixes? One. Okay. Energy matrix, steel plate, nanotubes, which I don't see. How many nanotubes? three nanotubes and two capacitors uh... can't make capacitor devices in here hmm. can make nanotubes and I had a capacitor device, I just threw it in my uh, factory a bit ago And how many steel plates? Seven. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see if I have a capacitor in here. I doubt it. If I find one, I might come back and uh, upgrade the refrigerator for them so they don't lose as much. No, I don't have a capacitor. I've got mechanical components, but that's not what I need. Okay. Well, I'm going to put the, the components that I got on me back in here. Turn their tower lights on. And uh, head out. So that they got their tower lights on. So that if they were using them to try to find their way, they can turn those off and use that. And now the only things on are the tower lights. So they should be using a lot less power now. And they should be good to go. So whoever's base that was, if you're watching this, I hope you don't mind. I sort of upgraded your power systems um, and, uh, and fixed your garden. You know, just trying to help out. If you get upset and try to murder me, well, I apologize. But in any case, let's head on out. Flight mode activated. And, uh, yeah, let's head into space and see what other asteroids we can find and try to mine out. <laughs> <laughs>